Kale, thank you. A nationwide warning of sextortion schemes with the rise in AI and Tesla's quest to launch so-called self-driving vehicles into the mainstream has been bumpy at times. Joining us this morning with details is cybersecurity and privacy attorney Lisa Garber. And Lisa, the FBI released a nationwide alert that scammers are using artificial intelligence to create deep fakes of victims in compromising positions. Can you tell us how this works and why is this happening? Good morning, great to see you. The FBI released this alert because the scam has become so widespread and rampant among many users of social social media, what happens is these bad actors take benign images that people post to social media, dating apps, blogs, or other internet sources, and they use AI, machine learning, and deepfake applications to turn them into sexualized images and potentially even videos as well without any consent from the victim. Then what happens is they use these images and, and videos as blackmail, either to get money from the victim or to have the victim send them actual real sexualized imagery. And it's certainly concerning just to hear that. Who is especially vulnerable in this situation and what can we do to best protect ourselves as well as our loved ones? The groups that we always worry about are minors and young adults on social media. We have to be so vigilant about what we post and also the privacy settings that we use for social media and for dating applications. Remember, these bad actors can use very benign, safe images to turn into these sexualized imagery. The technology is easily available, it's cheap, it's relatively easy to use. And so we have to be aware of what our internet presence is. I tell my clients, Google yourself frequently and know what your children are doing online as well because they can be victimized and scared by some of the language these scammers are using in their blackmail messages. Right, like you said, you gotta be vigilant. Uh, sw switching gears here, Tesla's autopilot mode, it's been linked to over 730 crashes and 17 deaths over the past four years, according to a Washington Post analysis of National Highway Traffic Safety Administration data. How significant are these numbers? These numbers are alarming because they seem to go up significantly from what we've heard over the past couple of years. We have a variety of companies testing quote unquote self-driving or autonomous vehicles, and they are actually completely autonomous in some cities, especially Phoenix and San Francisco. But by the rule across the country, we don't have real self-driving without human driver vehicles yet that are legally authorized around the country. Tesla has promoting this language of fully self-driving or autonomous vehicles, and they're using beta testing in different parts of the country. But now we have consumers complaining about safety. We have investigations taking place at different levels of law enforcement because some of these numbers are extremely alarming, and we have different categories of what it means to be self-driving. There is also some discrepancy in the auto community about the term self-driving. What are your thoughts on the use of that term? How does this technology actually work? It's fascinating because Tesla markets some of its cars as self-driving. You can pay extra for this self-driving option. In reality, you always have to have a human driver with two hands on the wheel to access these options. Legally, there are different terms for levels of when something is fully autonomous. And the technology works through sensors, the internet of things, and processing of big data through machine learning and artificial intelligence. In general, we're not there yet. Tesla isn't there yet. And there are lawsuits taking place right now where consumers are saying they were misled by the language of something being autonomous or fully self-driving. Well, it's certainly a lot of interest, so it'll be interesting to see where this all goes. Lisa Garber, thanks for the information this morning and for joining us on the National Desk. Thank you.